morning, introvert. Someone hit me from behind with their school bag. Ouch! A voice that I'm familiar with. That was my childhood friend, Yoko Hayashi. Keep dilly dallying, and you'll be late for class. I couldn't see her running past me without even giving me a glance. She surely is a black haired beauty, but. I hate my childhood friend. She grew up in the house next to us. So close that we could even jump from one window to the other. She used to make me handle her research project in elementary school during the summer holidays, while she herself was playing with my games. In other words, she takes advantage of me, never says a single thank you. And even makes fun of my personality and how I look. Was she making fun of you again? The person who gently came behind me and spoke to me ever so softly was my sister, Irie, who's one year younger than me. She has natural brown hair and a ponytail. She's always so horrible. I think you should stop talking to her. In the first place, any woman who makes fun of somebody else's looks is just unacceptable. I still haven't spoken a word with her today. A girl who keeps making fun of you should pay the price. Uh, you know, something like failing her university entrance exam because of getting all her answers up by one row on a bubble sheet. Yeah, but she would never make that kind of mistake. Yuko is a steadfast person after all. She was boasting about how she was going to become a doctor and how she was going to be a beautiful woman with a great career. The other day, when she was making me do her homework, she also told me men will be going down on their knees asking me to marry them while handing me an expensive ring. While she was saying so, she was reading mangas while lying around on my bed. So annoying! Irene was all huffing and puffing, but we eventually got to the stairs where we always break up at, so... See you later, Irene. I waved my hand. See you after class. After class. I always walk home with Irene. I'm an introvert who hadn't joined any sport club. Irene seems to have a bit of brother issues, so we are often together. Yuko says, Gross! You two are too close to each other for being siblings. She's too touchy with all of that Onichi and Onichi and stuff. But still, Iri doesn't ask me to hold her hand or anything. She doesn't hold on to my arm when we are together either. When Iri and I are having fun together, Yuko comes flying towards us even if she's pretty far away and starts bothering us. Well, her side of the story is that she makes me do her homework because those things distract her from her own studies to get into medical school, and all of the studying causes her a lot of stress. Therefore, seeing us enjoying ourselves, having a conversation, gets her irritated. And she's letting off that steam when she ridicules us. I don't care if you're a childhood friend of us, just leave us alone! Are you jealous or something? Her answer to Irie was Unlike you two, I have a lot of stress to deal with. I need to get it out. Making fun of you guys are just so fun, you know? She had a smile on her face while she said so. It was obvious that she was bothering us just to release some of her stress. We got home and ate dinner with mom and dad, who just came home from work. Our family was always on good terms. Therefore, we often talked about what happened at school and what were on our minds without holding it back from our parents. I couldn't get good results for the last test I took. No need to worry, you just need to try again next time. Mom answered, exactly. Iri, if you have anything you don't understand, you can just ask your brother and he'll be able to teach you. Dad also was patting her on the back. Yes, you're right. I was also happy when my sister relied on me. Therefore, I never said anything like, 
Why do I have to waste my time on that? If you come and ask me, I'll try to teach you in a way that you can understand. Onichan, I love you! Being said such things by my beautiful sister Irene made me really happy, even if she was just joking around. After, I finished eating and our daily family gathering time ended. I told my sister a little mouth while waiting to go into the bath. So right here, you just have to implement the double angle formula and... Uh, this is difficult! Irene looks confused. If so, you do this and you do that and... Ah, I kind of got it! Soon after that, Dad came knocking on my door and... Hey, I finished taking a bath. Okay, I'll be going in right now. I closed the math textbook. After I did that, Iri looked so delighted, she asked me. Hey, Onichan, you're going to take a bath, right? Can you take off your glasses and show me your face? We are so close to each other now. I really want to see your face. She has her right hand almost on my left thigh. Also, the way she sat beside me, with her off-the-shoulder top on, I could also see her cleavage. My heart was thumping, but I cannot refuse her, especially when she pleased me with such a cute face, and when she's so close to me, no one could ever do that. Okay, I will. I am an introvert, I do not consider myself hot when I don't have my glasses on. But as my sister, who is a female, says, Okay, this is what I reset, so I'm going to quote her. I am super handsome. I put my fingers on my glasses and, is this fine? I had to look up to the ceiling. It was a bit embarrassing for me, so I looked away. Now I was looking at the floor. Looking at the floor kept me from becoming nervous, but then she started giving out to me. No, Onijan, look me in the eyes. Oh, okay. My eyesight isn't extremely bad, so I could properly see Irie right in front of me. You know, for me, it's kind of awkward to look into her eyes. After looking into her eyes for a while, I couldn't take it anymore. It was also the distance where we could almost kiss each other. This situation was making me nervous. I wanted to escape right away. Oh my god, just as usual, you're so hot. Especially because we're closer to each other today. I mean, because you're so close, I kind of want to kiss you. Oh, oh, she just dropped a bomb and my heart was beating out of my chest. Also now this situation appears to have met Iris' eyes even more watery. I can't describe this well, but the way she's looking at me has become even more cuter. I was about to lose control. No! I told her strongly, and I ran out of the room. I was able to escape the crisis of losing my self-control. However, on the next day at school, when all the 11th grade students were playing a volleyball match in the school gym. I got caught up in another disaster. During the match, I was daydreaming on the court when the handsome ace attacker of the school volleyball team spiked the ball right into my face, sending my glasses flying away and revealing my true face that only my sister knew about. Of course, they aren't expensive glasses, but they still were important to me, and now I couldn't find them. Fujiyama-kun, the ace attacker on the volleyball team, is really popular amongst girls. But he had the worst personality. Introverts are just trash. He only talks to other popular kids, and keeps making fun of quiet guys like me. As I fell on my backside and had my face down, thinking, Oh no. Hey, sorry nerd. It definitely was not on purpose. Eventually, my teammates came over to me and asked me, Hey Shinji, are you okay? 
You seem to be hurt pretty bad. How's your nose? Have you gotten a nose bleed? And my classmate and friend Yuma, who was watching the game, brought me my glasses, but one of the temples had been bended. I couldn't use it anymore. Too bad, it's broken. I sighed and took my glasses off, turned my head around and... Oh, the teammates who were surrounding me and my friend Yuma shouted out loud simultaneously while moving backwards. And then Yuma said with a big voice, What? For real? Your face though? Wow. Oh, I get it now. It's the first time for all of them to see my face without the glasses. Oh my god! And I suddenly got surrounded, not only by girls who were in the same class, but all the girls who were in the gym. Oh my god! He could be a member of the Johnnies! Hotness overload! Look over here! I got caught up in a huge racket. They say, image is everything. My younger sister always praised me for being handsome, but I never imagined that so many girls would flock around me just for taking off my glasses. I searched for my childhood friend Yuko in the crowd, but I couldn't find her there. I was thinking it wouldn't be half bad if she saw my face complimented me, because she always made fun of me. However, soon after, I could hear Yuko's screeching voice echoing in the school gym. She was barging through the girls that were around me. Get out of my way! I was wondering what all this ruckus was when I was in the bathroom. All of you, step back from a childhood friend Shinji. Too close, get back! She was glaring angrily while kicking those girls. We have been together for a long time. Shinji and I are not only childhood friends, but also we're in a relationship. Don't try to touch my boyfriend. Huh? When did you become my girlfriend? The girls who were around me were afraid of Yuko. They timidly walked away from me. I left the game because I couldn't play anymore without my glasses. I was cheering my classmates from outside of the court. Yuko kept clinging onto me, but she was just annoying. Hey, hey Shinji, I'm your girlfriend from today on, right? Let's go home together. Not happening. I've already got angry. Huh? But loving your own sister is just so creepy. Time went on, and our classes are over. Iri and I were walking home, but Yuko couldn't stop causing trouble to us. She even came along to our house and started complaining to our mom. Siblings can't be a couple. He should rather date his childhood friend, right? But my mom answered her with a very calm voice. I was going to keep this secret until you both became adults. Actually, you two aren't biological siblings. I really wanted a daughter, so I adopted you from an orphanage, Irie. You see, that's why you don't look alike at all. Irie was happily screaming out, Oh my god! And Yuko seemed to have frozen. As for myself, I quietly mud a victorious pulse in my heart.